How was China? China was good. It was a good experience for our guys. Uh, oh, the guys had some idea maybe what to expect just from the class. Do a little research, but uh, didn't really know how the week was going to go in terms of the travel, the length of the travel, and all that. Uh, other than Andrew, no one had experienced that before. But I think all in all, culturally, educationally, uh, they, you know, it helped it uh, we were able to win the game. And I think the trip was good. How's everyone adjusted coming back, like home? And yesterday was rough. You know, Monday we were pretty good, but yesterday uh, we won ourselves yesterday. Hopefully, uh, we can get back on the right track here today. Definitely hope to go by tomorrow. But I think uh, the experience of little jet lag finally with us. From what you'd seen in practice and then the SPU game, was what you saw in the Texas game what you'd seen before, or was it different? Oh, uh, I think it was. there was a lot of what we had seen before. We didn't know if we could take what we had seen in practice and go travel all that distance and then against a quality opponent uh, transfer it over, but I thought we did. We had seen that we were starting to get it in terms of what we were trying to do defensively. We still have a ways to go to execute what we want, but what we are trying to do uh, defensively carried over. Uh, was it any different in playing the way Shaka's teams play, just that fast pace? Yeah, I don't know if we'll play anyone this year that will play at that pace. I mean, you watch the game, it's up and down. Uh, they score, we're right back. We score, they're coming back, they miss, we're coming right back. It was uh, fun to play that way. You know, baseball, they always say, you know, when you play against a knuckleball pit pitcher, it kind of can mess up your swing. Yeah. When you play a team that plays that fast, does it kind of mess up what you've been trying to teach? No. That's what we've been trying to teach. <laughs> We want to play that fast. Uh, I, I would have liked to have seen us take care of the ball better, but I really do believe there was some some jitters early in that game. Where we, you know, we had dunks, we had plays that were right there that we didn't finish early. That uh, once we settled down, we began to do a better job of finishing. But no, I, I would like I, we'd love to see every game like that, that type of thing. But what we're trying to do, you know, we're trying to play up tempo. So as far as I'm concerned. Mission accomplished. I think 62 fouls called between the two teams. What, what, what are you teaching? I mean, what do you guys have to do to, to cut down that number on your end? We have to make sure that uh, we eliminate the fouls that have nothing to do with defending the ball. So, yeah, we're trying to pressure you, and they call fouls, touch fouls, where they call it closely, closely guarded fouls. Yeah, we understand that, but the fouls that we get where we just jump over the top of someone. When we shouldn't. Uh, a guy drives to the rim, we just touch him trying to knock the ball down. We barely touch him and he gets an and one. Uh, we're out of position, so then we reach at the last minute. Those are the fouls that we're concerned about more. We're committing too many of those. The hand checks, is that, like, is that a big emphasis in practice, just trying to have your hands out? Well, yesterday we, we uh, talked to the officials that do our practices to call them just like they call them in the game very closely, so we're, we're working on that. But again, those aren't the calls, those aren't the fouls that are hurting us right now. It's the other ones that are hurting us that we need to do a better job of. So did they, did they, is, they, is this going to be a feeling like this is the way the season's going to go in terms of the length of the games and the stop-start nature of them because of the emphasis and some of the calls that the referees are made in, The intent was to do this a few years ago or last year, the year before. Uh, and it was like this early, but then the officials kind of backed off a little bit. This year they've talked about, no, we're not backing off. So it, it could be a possibility that uh, there are many more fouls being called this year.